Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox video and today we're going to be checking out another one of your guys' solar systems. So, third one this week, I thought we'd do a little bit of a catch-up week actually, but yeah, today we've got one system from the user Marcus in Discord to check out, so a massive thank you to them for sending this system in. And without further ado, let's go ahead and see what they have prepared for us today. So their system is called the HR712 system, so let's go ahead and see what we have got here so it should be in the workshop down here it should be the one with the pink screen there we are okay right basic okay so the hr712 system basically this system has um uh, over like five or seven hattle planets and three gas giants with some hot and lifeless planets please enjoy this took me minutes to terraform the planets and do not forget their hattle moons so yeah please enjoy okay all right so it's owls to check out Oh, wowee. Okay, so the star itself, as we can see here, larger than the sun in mass and radius, 33 luminosity, so yeah, that's uh, pretty much uh, pretty, pretty bright there. Okay, and now the planets. We have got a lot here to try. We'll try and do them in order. So the first of the planets here, we've got one with red oceans. It's losing material. Is that red oceans or just a red surface? I think it's just a red... Oh, no, it's clouds. All right, oh, I do like that. Okay, so that one's losing a lot of material there. Tilted on its side as well, if you look carefully. Look, it is. Well, it looks like it. Yeah. Cool. Okay. I do like that. It's got like a massive crater there as well. Look at that. So smacked it on its side. Okay. So that's the first of the planets. Next up, we have got. I'm just going to put a trail color so we know we've been there. There we go. Okay. So second, we have got this one down here. This is a more nice purple one, looking a lot more friendly looking. Got some oceans on it as well. Nice mix of ocean and land there. Very, very nice indeed. So there is that one. Looking good. It's got one moon as well down here. Okay. So now we're taking the jump to the next object out, which I believe should be this one. So we've got Fluorus over here. So there we go. No oceans to see. Got some nice orange clouds on it though. Okay. Looking good. Okay, so moving up. So we've got the oh we missed this one. Let's do this one as well. So another one with a nice purple uh, look to it as well. Little look underneath. Got some city lights to boot as well. Nice blue clouds. Very exotic shades here. I'm liking it. It's also got some moons at Hatful as well, like he said. Looking good there. We've got Curio over here. Nice. Good, good. Uh, let's just go ahead and label it so we know we've been there as well. Okay. Cool. Next up, we got this one over here. Yeah, we'll just hop to them. I'll try and, yeah, try and get them roughly in the right order. So we've got this one as well. So, yeah, less oceans on here. But still probably Hattable. It's got enough water. So well, they're more like giant lakes rather than oceans, actually. Uh, and then we've got this one as well. Another Hattable Moon. So a very highly Hattable system here. Loads and loads of a Hattable world. I mean, really crazy stuff. Okay, then we got this one as well. So Minasa over here. It's another one with a purple uh, sort of atmosphere going on. Maybe a bit of water visible as well. Okay. Looking good. Okay, next planet out. We've got this one. So we've got Itumi over here. So with some more exotic clouds. Got some more oceans to boot with it as well. Very rocky looking, isn't it? Ooh. Okay. So that's definitely a world that could probably do with some terraform in there to get some more greenery going. But yeah, there we are. Or maybe it doesn't need maybe it doesn't have greenery. Maybe its plants are oh, brownish colours. Who knows? So there we go. Okay. Alright, next up we have got this one here. Logorcus. So these planets are all quite similar in visuals, aren't they? You can see, starting to see a pattern with like little patches of water and then a, a, a rough looking surface. So there we are. It's also got one moon with it as well. Okay. Cool, cool. So this is like the ultimate terraform system. There's so many uh, good looking planets in here that have hatable conditions. Oh, this one's cool. Got a greener one here. Oh, yeah. Okay, look underneath there. Nice patches of uh, lakes on there as well. Nice green atmosphere to go with it. Also got some moons. 
Okay, so we've got one here. Then we've got Akam as well over there. Looking good. Okay, we'll quickly mark this one as done as well. There we go. Okay, so we've also got this one here. Arian. So another brownish looking one with a yellow uh, clouds on it. Got some craters as well. A bit roughed up that one has been. Okay. Cool, cool. Okay, so we still got loads in here. Are they all these customised? Oh no, we got some asteroids. Okay. Okay, let's just keep clicking them until we see a planet. So it looks like we've just got a giant asteroid belt of objects here. Look, they've all just been clicked and placed in by the looks of it. So I'm assuming... Yeah, I think all these are asteroids if we just look here. Yeah, definitely. So these are all asteroids. Okay, so the next planet is this one here. Because it's been custom named as well. Okay. So we've got what looks to be a brown dwarf here. 58 masses of Jupiter, 2 in radius. Yeah, it's definitely a brown dwarf. Okay, looking good there. Alright, moving on. We've got Litat over here. Another gas giant. Chilling on the edges of the system. Still receiving a good amount of light. And then lastly, we've got Wasp 169B over here in a really cool looking green shade tilted on its side as well. Okay. Looking very nice. Let's see how far away it is. It's 25. Okay, so it's not even Neptune distance out. Okay. Cool. And that does it for this system. So a very nice lineup of um, Hatful Welds in there. And it'll probably be quite a, um, quite a balanced system as well. I doubt we'll get many... Um, can we speed up time? Oi, come on. There we go. Let's uh, let the simulation play a bit. And this should be quite a... Um, the orbits should behave themselves here. There shouldn't be anything that's wobbling the orbits too much because it should be quite nicely... Um, yeah, that's looking pretty uh, pretty nice. There's no gas giants or any, any heavy mass objects to really upset the inner system here. So we can see a few asteroids are being upset by the brown dwarf. I mean, that's pretty normal, isn't it? So... Yeah, but the system seems pretty stable in the inner system, where all the planets are, where we've labelled all the colours. You can see their orbits are nice and spherical. It's just the asteroid belt area here. That's a little wobbly with the um, the brown dwarf especially. That's going to shoot some things around. But yeah, other than that, yeah, very, very nice, um, yeah, stable system there. So we can see, yeah, they've got a few of the asteroids becoming sort of comets as well, bouncing in and out. But yeah, there we are. So that does it for this system. So again, a massive thank you to the user who submitted this. So that was Marcus in Discord. So very, very nice stuff as well. And yeah, guys, of that all said and done, if you enjoyed this video, let's make sure you press that like button, subscribe for more, helps on the journey to 30,000 subscribers, all the support, guys, I really, really appreciate it. And yeah, that all said and done, make sure you guys all have a great day, stay safe out there, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.